Space, the new frontier. Here's Gio Benitez. Engine ignition, two, one, and liftoff. 2021 launched us into a new era of space exploration. It's just getting started. This year, NASA making history, launching a major mission that could one day help save the planet. A mission that seems straight out of a Hollywood blockbuster. The United States government has just asked us to save the world. We're talking about space, right? Outer space? Known as the DART mission. The test mission sent a spacecraft to collide with an asteroid some 7 million miles away to knock it off course. It'll mark the first time humans have ever tried to redirect an asteroid. Well, other than the time Bruce Willis saved the planet. I never quit yet. How's that? And earlier this year, NASA made even more technological advances with that historic landing 130 million miles from home. The countdown to Mars continues. With its most advanced robot ever to be sent into space, NASA successfully landed Perseverance, or more affectionately known as Percy, on the surface of Mars. Ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. Once safely on Mars, Perseverance went to work the first of a multi-part mission sent to collect information that can help find answers to those questions that we've been asking for centuries. I think many of us look up in the night sky and wonder, are we alone? The big picture mission of Perseverance is to look for evidence of life on Mars. And if there are signs of life, what does that tell us about future life on the little red planet in the sky? Could Mars be the next stamp in your passport? Perseverance is paving the way for human exploration on Mars. Helping us pave that way, some of the biggest names in business. The fight song for the crown right Enter here. the billionaire space for race. The, crown right here. the moguls race to space. Woo! Just days before Amazon founder Jeff Bezos' much anticipated launch, billionaire Sir Richard Branson surprised us all, launching Virgin Galactic's first fully crewed space flight, Unity 22. Welcome to space. Branson rocketing to the edge of space, 55 miles above the surface, floating weightlessly for four minutes woo, before safely returning to Earth and speaking with us. We're in space! <laughs> excuse us, excuse us. Yes, got those wings. Nine days later. Whoa, now, wait a minute, hold up. Whole team is about to go up. Jeff Bezos' company, Blue Origin, launching its spaceship, the New Shepard. I am the new one legendary actor willing to hop aboard the new Shepard, Captain Kirk himself. Prepare to beam me aboard on my signal. Shatner taking an emotional 11 minute journey, making him the oldest person to fly to space. What made you so emotional up there? The, the absolute startling, unexpected, difference between the darkness of space and the blue of, of Earth. It's extraordinary, extraordinary. Sharing that vision, a familiar face. Here we go. Good Morning America co-anchor Michael Strahan. <laughs> Just weeks ago, Strahan suited up and joined Blue Origin's third human flight. Hey! It was transformational in my understanding of how much I love people here and my relationship in their life and their relationship in my life and the importance of it. It's a special journey that I wish that as many people as possible can go on and will go on. Also entering the space race, Time Magazine Person of the Year, Elon Musk, and his company, SpaceX. SpaceX pulling off an incredibly risky journey to where no civilian has gone before. Launching the first all-civilian crew 360 miles from Earth, farther than both Branson and Bezos, and even the International Space Station. You guys are gonna get a view that is unbelievable. And making a splash landing in the Atlantic Ocean. Inspiration 4, on behalf of SpaceX, welcome home to planet Earth. Taking us to the new frontier this year, a diverse group of scientists. I am the Entry, Descent, and Landing Communications Systems Engineer for the Mars 2020 mission. I lead the Entry, Descent, and Landing team for Mars 2020. I am the Mars 2020 Guidance and Control Operations Lead. Changing the face of astronauts. Sarisha Bandler, only the third Indian American woman to fly to space. Geoscience professor, Dr. Cyan Proctor. The first black woman to pilot a spacecraft. To get to go and do those things, it's really so much for all of us and all of us who have dreams and persist. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.